Marcel Cool. Aldana, you know, uh, a blue chip prospect to say the least, really sort of the pride of Mexico. Uh, her and her teammate Alexa Grasso really doing big things here. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a striker. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Looking at Aldana, one of the best things about her as a fighter and about being a prospect and coming up into a really well-rounded fighter is her ability to hurt you on the feet and then submit you on the floor. It's a tool that I think not a lot of people really get to. A lot of people, when they get into that striking mode, they go, okay, if I hurt you, I'm going to TKO you. We saw in her fight with Peggy Morgan as well as uh, Colin Schneider, if you make a mistake on the feet and you fall down or, or you slip even in the Schneider fight, Aldana will jump on your back and put you in a choke. Once I'm in the cage, I know my my entire mind and body change. You know, it's I feel angry. I feel I feel I'm here just to do my job. I'm here to do what I, I learned all this time when I'm training so hard. Nina de Culiacán, Sinaloa, Mexico, Irene Aldana. I try to punch hard with with all all the combinations I can with all my with my both hands with my elbow knees and every punch needs to have power. That's how we train. Her face is all kinds of swollen up right now. Aldana has that mentality, that that blueprint first for you know you win a fight by finishing the fight. TKO Irene!